Okay, champions, now that I have your attention, we're going to talk about forehand topspin. Some of the top ways you can generate more topspin on your forehand. I know all of you want more topspin. Let's get into it. First things first, guys. If you want topspin, please get away from continental forehand. Not going to spend a lot of time on that. You're going to find it very, very hard to get topspin continental grip. Okay? Two topspin grips you can use is eastern grip, bevel number three. I'll also put on the screen uh, what, what that exactly means. And then 100% if you really want to focus on so much topspin, the most topspin you can get, semi-western grip on forehand bevel number four will help you the most. So you can hit topspin with eastern, semi-western even more. All right, now let's get into how to swing, what to do with your body. Hey okay, champs, the first thing you want to do is think, think about your rotation, okay? We call it angular rotation. The more topspin you want, the more you have to rotate around your body, okay? So there's a lot of ways you can do it. You can keep your racket on your left hand on your racket push your body across then you have that angular rotation what does this do is it's almost like elastic energy onto your hip into the legs and then you'll be able to get spin okay that's why open stance also works so much for top spin on the forehand what you want to watch out for is if you're just going to have a straight sw swing with the arm the body is not rotating you're really not going to get acceleration enough spin you're going to get flat balls not spin Okay, so this is what happens when you start rotating. Even if the close stance, if you watch Djokovic, even when he goes close stance, there's a big rotation to really rip the ball. Okay, accelerate. Boom, open stance for me works even better. Upper body rotation, feel it rotating around your body. It's, it makes logic sense, okay? I need to have a round swing, angular momentum, so that I can actually brush around and over the ball. First thing is, the way you turn, will give you a lot of spin. Let's move on to a more important step. Step number two, guys. Many coaches talk about dropping your racket below the ball, uh, having the, the butt of your racket facing the ball before you hit it. Very, very important. But there's another important step that you need to add to that. Because if you just drop the racket, if your butt is facing the ball, you might get some spin, but you limit it. And it's you, you could run into a problem with not being able to stay over the ball. My strings are still square. I might get it, but I'm relying on timing to get spin. So how you fix that to make sure that you're not relying on timing is with the butt of the racket facing the ball, you also want to focus on your strings facing down. This is where you watch all the pros that have that lag. So the butt's facing the ball as well as the strings to the court what this allows you is to get that proper stretch and then accelerate over the ball again works well with semi-western grip so instead of just butt strings as well then you get something like this okay i'll try and give you i'm going to show you another one and i'm going to pause it right before i start swinging forward and you'll see my strings facing to the court it's so important strings facing down it also helps you once the strings are facing down you keep the strings closed all the way over the ball before you relax if the strings aren't facing down you run the risk of this happening on contact point and it being shaky not being able to brush over okay so try and spot my strings facing down i'm going to give you two and the third one i'm going to pause right before and check check my strings all right so there strings staying down and now i check this one i'm going to pause it So, so important with the butt facing down. I'm going to give you one more tip. Okay, guys, I'm going to be a very bad coach if I don't give you this tip. And that's why this tip is in most of my videos as well. You can do everything right. But if you're holding the racket too tight, you're not going to get that rip you want. Okay. So I can have the turn, strings down. But if my racket's too tight, I can't swing through the ball quick enough. Might, might go in, but there's no weight on the ball on that side. So you do everything that we mentioned but you grip the racket at 40 percent and then you have that whipping motion it's a lot heavier if your racket is nice and relaxed you also you'll notice that you get the automatic lag without even forcing it Boom. and one more I promise you if you do that you're gonna get more spin on your forehand guys thank you for subscribing grab my ebook link in the description it's helping so many people around the world. See you for my next video.
Shabam.